Right, so video number five asking probably something that everyone should know by now. How to build New Jersey. So the last video I made was for Bismarck 2. And I'm going to tell you guys right now. If you guys watch that video, it's pretty much the same thing. Nothing changes. Bismarck 2, well for the most part, uh, battleships have the same build. But Bismarck 2 and, and uh, New Jersey have the exact same play style. Different, the only difference is that Bismarck 2 offers utility, whereas New Jersey offers more uh, quick and bursting. So that's the trade-off right there. Anyways, though... We go over here, let's talk about her build. So again, if you guys watch that other video, you, guys should, you should know how to build her, right? If you guys don't have any guns, you guys don't have the UR gun for whatever reason. Uh, this right here, the 000406 MK6, really, really good. Can't go wrong with it. And another thing is that New Jersey, because she's a USS battleship, she doesn't have a light, um, light gun auxiliaries, which kind of sucks, honestly, less firepower, but that's just the nature of how this game works if it's uss they can't use like cruiser guns so we have to use dd guns in this case here your best options are it's going to be the 35 firepower gun but a lot of you guys don't have access to that as of right now so what you guys can do is if you guys have like say um this right here this is okay i guess it's 25 firepower it's not the best but it's definitely not the worst you pretty much only want to gear auxiliaries for firepower so this right here is very, very good. Now, because she can only use DD guns, she's a terrible, terrible suicide bomber defender if you're on the maps where it has a lot of suicide bombers in it. So that's one bad thing about USS battleships is that they can't really defend themselves against suicide bombers as well as a normal battleship that can use one. So you gotta make do with it. The best option right here, if you're a new player, it's gonna be just probably this gun right here. So I'm gonna toss this in right now, uh, the single... Uh, one, two, seven, mm. You guys can get these from like four, two or something. I forgot what map it was. It was in chapter four, and this right here is in chapter six. Like I said in the Bismarck two video. As for anti-air, this is what use whatever you guys need. For the most part, battleships don't really care too much about the early game um anti-air that much. Just use whatever you have. Uh, let's say you have this right here. Let's toss this on, and boom, there you go. Now, as for auxiliaries, again, same as what I said in the Bismarck two video. You're just going to toss on some firepower stuff. So let's say we have these purple fire control radars, which I think you guys can farm in the map. So you can do, go ahead and do that. Also, it's like purple pencils or whatever you guys can use as well, too. That is perfectly fine. Otherwise, you can just double up on fire control radars and call it a build right there. Very, There you go. Very, very good. Now, heading into end, uh, not end game, mid game. I'm going to assume you guys at least got the event done and you guys have the MK7. Use it on her. Just, just toss it on there. You can't go wrong with it. Go ahead and do that, all right? Now, mid-game players, some of you guys should start getting the um, the gold DD guns. Now, for the most part, a lot of the freebie ones don't have that much firepower to it. Um, I'm going to assume you guys have at least one 30, 30 or 35 firepower gun from, like, I don't know, like, Gear Labs or something, or you found enough uh, Iris events. Let's say you can have enough, and let's go ahead and toss in the... Um, I'm going to take this off someone. I don't know who it's going to be, but... Uh, Udachi. We're gonna toss in the baguette gun. The 138.6. You guys get these from War Archives from the Iris D1 or D2. I forgot what map it was. I think it was like D2. Um, I think it was the or D1. I don't know. It's one of those maps. But you guys can get it from there. And as for um, the anti air, at this point, you guys should have some gold ones. Just toss whatever gold ones you guys have. Let's say you have the gold Roombas now. So let's go ahead and do that. Gold Roombas. Slot that in. I can click properly there you go boom and then this is the part where you want to start getting the pencils from the court from the core lab so let's say you have the the black pencils and the white pencils now you should be able to get these as a mid-game player it's like two months of these right here toss these in boom and there you go proper build right there already it's already a really really good build now getting into end game stuff this is where it's going to change it this is where things are going to change up a bit again depending on the content is is the Gun you want to use all right so end game light armor content there you go already got light armor sorted out this is the best light armor gun as of right now for battleships can't go wrong with it just toss it on boom there you go now but if you have the 35 firepower like it says 35 right here you guys are pretty much good to go there's some min maxing stuff like there are some guns that give like um 35 firepower and like 10 anti-air for the most part these are like min max kind of things as long as your main gun has 35 firepower or i mean your auxiliary secondary gun has 35 firepower you're good to go that's the highest is right now so just toss it on there 
and just ignore it for now. Now getting into end game, there's two types of anti you guys can use, either the Bofers, um, Bofer Stags right here, or the Dido AA. Like I said before in the Bismarck 2 video, if the enemy you're fighting against is 5 levels higher than you, you want to go ahead and slot in the hit stuff right here. So let's go ahead and click this, click that, boom, there you go. If the enemy is 5 levels higher than me, like say for example in this case it's 125, 130. Alright, recording just came out, so <laughs> my bad. Uh, stack both first. If the enemy is five levels higher than you, go ahead and just toss it on, and you guys should be good to go. All right. Now, if the enemy is five, four levels or less compared to you, then you can go ahead and toss on the Dido AAs. There's a gear loss one, but for the most part, though, they're pretty much the same thing. Let's go ahead and click one of these right here. Stick one from Moon Rune, and boom, there you go. 15 firepower, best in slots right now, at least for me, and you're solid. Now, as for auxiliaries, that doesn't change. The black and white pencils are pretty much the same thing. If you guys want to do more speed builds, like a fire control radar or whatever, go ahead and toss these on. Kick out the black pencils and keep the white ones on. And go ahead and toss in the fire control radars in place of the black ones. So I'm going to do it for you guys right here. I'll do that. Boom. And then there you go. All right. Very, very simple. Now, when it comes to medium armor, the rest of the builds pretty much stay the same. Depending on auxiliaries, you want to go ahead and you swap between black pencils and the fire control radars. But the main gun changes right here. On medium armor, it, it differs. So if you're not using Helena, the 457 is very, very good here. It's the best in slot without Helena. It's very, very good. Now, if you are playing around Helena, there's two different choices right here. Either you can do the SAP gun, which is the Marco Polo gun, which you guys can get from PR4. Or you guys can do the Champagne gun uh from pr3 which either or works um the sap gun is a little bit slower compared to the um actually no i think it's a little bit faster actually it's like a little bit faster um whatever they're about the same speed but if you guys want a little bit more damage then this is really really good for medium armor because even though it has a terrible spread i think it's like 20 right here versus the um the ap mk6 right here um this has a spread of 18 because of New Jersey's second skill, this 20 spread becomes a 15 spread. So it becomes very, very accurate at this point. It's very, very good to use on her. Just for medium armor content, though. Keep that in mind. So go ahead and toss it on her if you guys want to. It's a really, really good gun. Or you can use the MK6. Now, the difference here, here is this, all right? If you guys are first starting off, I recommend doing this gun. The reason why is because this gun right here, it's not the best when it comes to medium armor versus the Marco Polo gun, but it has diversity to it. You pretty much use this gun for heavy armor as well too. Whereas the SAP gun right here, the Marco Polo gun, it's pretty much only good for heavy armor right here. I mean medium armor. And it sucks on heavy armor. It's okay for light armor, but if you're doing light armor stuff, you're better off using an actual light armor gun, right? This right here. So for more diversity, I say go for a champagne gun. You guys can get these from PR3. Go ahead and build those and you guys should be good to go. Now, when it comes to heavy armor content, pretty much the same thing. Either if you are using Helena, use the MK7. Or if you guys want more diversity, you're playing with Helena right here, go ahead and build the MK6. All right. Yamato gun can work for Helena. I mean, for New Jersey. Um, if you aren't playing around uh, Helena, it's very, very fast. It's really, really good because of their five spread down or whatever. So it's a really good gun. But otherwise, though, for the most part, MK, um, not MK, MK6, the um, AP version. Or use the 457 MK8. All right. So either or. Same build as Bismarck 2. So if you guys know Bismarck 2 build, you should be okay. The only difference this time around is that she can't use a light armor or light gun, ugh, light cruiser gun. So you gotta use a DD gun. So just go for highest firepower one. All right. So very, very simple, very, very basic. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video.